We're in a world of hyper-innovation. There are more scientists alive than at any time in human history, more scientific discoveries, more technological innovations. The world is changing right in front of our eyes. And there's no place in the world that is experiencing this more directly and more dramatically than the circumpolar world. The high Arctic is the most interesting place on the planet. We always think of this as cold weather and huge expanses. Now we know about it in terms of phenomenal resources and tremendous opportunity. My name is Dr. Ken Coates. Um, I'm the director of the International Center for Northern Governance and Development at the University of Saskatchewan. I'm going to be the instructor in this course on circumpolar innovation. What we're going to do in the next 10 weeks is basically explore the present and the future. We're going to look at what's actually happening in terms of the world of innovation, get a bit of an idea of how people see science and technology evolving over the next 10, 15, 20, or 30 years. But we're going to spend a lot of time looking at the degree to which innovation is going to change the North. Some of the transformations are huge. Bringing in the internet has changed the North from top to bottom. But at the same time, the internet and the digital economy is starting to erode jobs. Jobs that used to be good and stable and sustainable in the North are disappearing. We're in the era when we can create remote mines. We can operate a mine from 1,000 or 2,000 miles away. Why move workers to the far North when you can have them living in a southern city? The changes are going to be massive. Telehealth, teleeducation, e-commerce, the transformations are huge. We can create new energy sources. We can design houses differently. In this class, we're going to look at these issues from top to bottom. We're going to listen to some of the best thinkers about the innovation economy. We're going to listen to Northerners talk about the challenges that they're facing in living in the 21st century. We're going to talk about the innovation divide, the gap between the North and the South. It's large, and believe it or not, it's getting larger. It's not getting smaller. We're going to look at specific technologies and look at how they can change the realities of northern living and make life better, improve the quality of life for everybody in the far north and the high Arctic. In this course on circumpolar innovation, you're going to be involved in a number of ways. We're going to be watching videos, you're going to be reading some very important academic documents, reading some government policy materials, scanning the statistics that will give you a bit of an insight into how northern innovation is working out and not working out. Um, we also want to get you involved in discussions. One of the things we're hoping is there will be people from around the circumpolar world and outside the circumpolar world participating in this class. We want you to tell us what's happening in your communities. We want you to tell us how innovation is changing your life and how it's not changing your life. What's missing in terms of the innovation that is sweeping the rest of the planet? So there's going to be a lot of opportunity for us to talk to each other, a lot of opportunity for us to learn from each other, and really I see a great opportunity for us to explore the frontiers of science. We've set up a series of videos where we've interviewed leading scientists from Canada who are talking about the discoveries that they've made and the applications that they're developing. These are exciting times. In this course, we're going to explore this together. Welcome on a journey I think you're going to find absolutely fascinating, really exciting, and very important for the future of the Far North.